Hey guys, so last week um, I ordered a few things from InStock Trades and they got in yesterday. So I will be doing an InStock Trades unboxing video. Yay! Um, I've ordered a few things from InStock Trades before, but that was before I started my video ness. So yeah, this will be my first one. Um, getting started. Okay, so I ordered this about a week ago, last Saturday, and it got in on, or it got in last night, so it took about six days. Um, compared to Amazon, in stock trades, shipping is a little bit slower. Amazon usually gets here within maybe three, four days, but altogether it's not too bad, um, especially with the difference in prices. I definitely think it's worth it. So, <gasps> yay! Okay, if you've never ordered from in stock trades before, they do a pretty good job with um, packaging. Well, this is sort of how it looks like. It looks like this on the inside. Um, Amazon, well, when I've ordered from them before, which is probably maybe a month or so ago. Um, hi, Pan. They just sort of throw it into a box. Maybe sometimes they'll have some kind of bubble wrap in it, but generally it's not the most safe mode of transportation, I guess. I don't know. So, Usually in stock trades puts these like styrofoam corner things in to protect your books, which is really nice. And let's see. <gasps> Yay! Okay. So I got a few things. Let's see how it looks like. Um all the books I got this time were all paperback, so they just sort of throw threw it all together here. If you have if you order a hardcover from them, um they wrap it in plastic separately, so that's really nice of them. But if you just order all paperbacks like this, let me not destroy this. Okay. So, I got a few books. Okay, the first book I ordered, well, this is the order they gave it to me is Batman and Robin, New 52, Volume 1. Um, I know I'm super late on this, and yeah, but I really, I've been wanting to get this paperback, and I, or a trade, and I haven't seen it for a while, so I just decided to just order it from InStock Trades. And then the second one, ooh, I got Green Lantern, Volume 2, The Revenge of Black Hand. Um, I just got my f first one back, Volume 1. It was being borrowed, so... I'll probably just reread the first one and then read this one after. Looks good. Oh, I don't know if you guys want to see the inside. Um, this is the art from Batman and Robin. This is by Gleason. That's cool. And then Green Lantern Volume 2. So, looks interesting. I'm really excited to read this because Indigo Tribe's in it, and well, besides Green, they're probably my favorite team. Ooh, okay. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, so, ooh. So I want, like you guys know, I'm usually all about DC and stuff, but lately I've been trying to branch out into Indies and Marvel. Um, oh, actually the other day, little side story, um, I went to this used bookstore. It was really small. It was right before um, one of my physical therapy sessions, so I decided to just pop in for fun. And I actually picked up an X-Men trade. It was really cheap, so I thought, why not? Um, I haven't read it yet, but when I do, I'll show you guys and maybe do a little review, see how it is. But um, I picked up two indies in this in stock trade haul. So the first one I got is Abe Sapien, The Drowning. Um, I was going to get a Hellboy book, but then I saw this, and I don't know, I just think his character is really interesting from what I've seen in the movies, so, and the story for this seems really interesting too, so, yeah, it's all <laughs> ocean things, so, Sarah, I don't think you'd like this, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, and this one, everyone's been talking about it. So I had to pick it up. Wonder Woman, it's, um, I've heard so many great things about it and everyone's been saying um, how interesting the series is right now. So I just decided I needed to start on it. So I picked up Volume 1, Blood. 
Okay. <laughs> and um, the last DC I got is Batgirl Robin Year One. So this, originally they were printed separately, I think, um, Robin Year One and Batgirl Year One, but this one has both of the stories. And I just picked this up, I, well I'm sure everyone knows Robin and Batgirl's origins and stuff, but I picked this up because I enjoyed the art and I heard so many um, interesting things about this storyline and how you really see them develop as characters. Ooh, this is cool. Also, the other day I saw um, a tattoo. It was Batgirl Year One, a few panels from her origins, and it just, it was so awesome. I just wanted to pick up, pick it up, and the colors are so bright in this book compared to a typical kind of Batman book, I guess. So cool. Okay, and the last book I got is the second indie, Madame Mirage. Um, I picked this up because I really liked what Paul Dini did with the Zatanna storyline that was, I don't know, three, two years ago? I'm not sure. And the art looks really, really nice. I heard a lot of good things about Kenneth Rocafort, I think. Um, I forgot what other series he did, but I sort of flipped through and it looked interesting. It's just this storyline appealed to me more. And I've seen a few people cosplay as her. And it was okay, I guess, but yeah. So I just wanted to pick this up. Looks cool. So we'll see how this goes. This is my first book from Top Cow, too. So yeah. And that's all I got. <laughs> um, I've seriously been spending all my money on trades recently. I need to slow down, but so worth it. So yeah, again, just Madame Mirage, Batgirl Robin Year One, Wonder Woman Volume One, Ape Sapien, Green Lantern, and Batman and Robin. Okay, so that's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry it's not a review video or anything, but I just thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing video. So yeah, okay, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!